Okay, let's dive into one of the jump cuts in greater detail to learn how I'm turning these uh, pretty obvious jump cuts into completely invisible cuts. Okay, so I wanna look at this moment here where I'm pulling a note out of the balloon. And what this would have looked like if you check out the raw footage, what I'm doing is I'm holding the balloon, I'm grabbing it, I'm pinching a part of the balloon, freezing, my wife is coming in, handing me a piece of paper, and I'm putting it back and continuing the action as if the paper came out of the balloon. And so these first two layers here are that performance. And I'm cutting out that section where the note would have been given to me. So all I'm doing is holding, cut, psh, note comes out. And let's take a look, let's zoom in here. Okay. Perfect, so there's that cut there. Let's take a look at the cut without anything on it. So let's hide these layers and let's play this. I'll zoom in here. So as you can see, it's a pretty obvious cut. Yep. Okay, so what happens is on this cut, the first thing I'm doing is I'm finding a moment to cut that feels generally like it's, it's seamless. Um, but as you can see, as I frame through this, my head twists quite a bit. Um, the balloon is pretty good. My hand goes a little off track and my shirt wrinkles also pop. So the way I approach these cuts is that I just watch it like this and I think, okay, what is annoying me the most? <laughs> what's, what's the most offensive thing? And I think the most offensive thing to me is the head. The head pops. Um, so I'm gonna go in and I would have generated, and we'll do this in the next lesson, I would have generated a blend. And let's check out this blend. Okay, so you're seeing it's blending my face from one position to another. Uh, never mind the hand, <laughs> just, we just need the face. And what I'm doing is, um, I'll add these layers in. Um, so the first thing I'm doing is I'm masking in my face. So I'm taking that AI blend, that frame interpolated blend, and I'm adding it with a very soft feather over my head. And it only took four frames to hide this. And let's watch it with those face frames added in. Much better. So you can't see that pop anymore on my face. Let's take a quick look at it without. Watch the face. Big pop. Now with that face added in, smooth. You don't notice it at all. Okay, so then from there, what's the most offensive thing? Well, the note kind of just appears out of nowhere, which is a problem. Um, so I would have went in and just, I'm just adding a little bit of note. <laughs> Even this little bit here helps. So that when I'm pulling, note, 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 and let's play it, it feels like that note is now coming out of the balloon. Great. And so now I'm adding, ooh, a stretch. So what I'm doing, this is so subtle, but I'm adding just a little bit of extra balloon here to feel like it's pulling as the note's coming out. Super subtle, but I like getting into those details. Okay, and then I had this uh, blend wall shadow layer. Okay, so I guess my position would have changed in Z space. That's so subtle. <laughs> I don't even know why I added this layer, but I guess when you see it, it's, it's honestly so hard to see, but my shadow over here kind of pops on the wall. So I'm just blending that from one shot to another. I would have been taking um, the shadow from the first part and I just keep it there and then blend it out with a uh, opacity. So it goes from 100 to zero. And with just those uh, seven layers, great. You can't even tell there's a cut. And my shirt does kind of pop there, but I think I just left that in <laughs> because it's quite an action. Why not? 
Okay, I'm having fun with this. Let's look at one more cut. One that involves uh, a prop and one that involves blending my shirt a bit. So I think that's an important thing to look at. Um, it's the moment where I am vanishing the mug. So I'm holding a mug, I go like this, and it's gone. And the way I would have filmed it when you look at the, um, the raw footage is that I'm just wiping my hand across the mug. My wife takes the mug out and then I do it again. And then I'm left with a jump cut when I cut that dead space out. And then I'm from there adding the transition stuff to hide that cut. So let's first take a look at the, the jump cut with no effects on it. Yeah, so this is a pretty ugly cut. Again, what is offending me? Uh, my face has a massive pop. Uh, my arm is way off. You can see that elbow pops. So this is a really good example of a jump cut that needs fixing. So what's the most offensive thing? Um, probably my face. So let's check that out. And that would have been this AI Blend 2, which is, um, this is the, what I generated here. And that's morphing from one face pose to another. Again, we'll get into that in the next video. But let's jump back into the composition. Um, so just taking those face frames. Um, so I'm using it for my shoulders and head here and uh, adding those in. Yeah, so you can see it's quite a bit different. So once I add those three frames in, just looking at my face, very smooth, no more pop. Okay, so th from there I'm thinking, what is offending me? This elbow here is way off. So as we frame through the cut, the arm goes from here, pop over here. How do we fix that? Um, I believe it's these layers here. Yeah, so I would have done uh, a frame interpolated blend for that as well. Um, where is that one? Oh yeah, blend three. So I'm isolating the arm and I'm generating this blend here and then using those frames to fix the arm. So I am just, uh, you can see I'm generating this blend, I'm masking it in with a nice feather here. And so when we play that, elbow is fixed. Now, when we look at this, that AI blend on that shirt looks real ugly. So you can see it's very kind of soupy here. The wrinkle goes like, so we gotta fix that. So I'm adding a layer in here, um, tracking in a bit of shirt information from one side and just hiding that cut. So I would have taken this section from the second half and just backtracked it uh, onto the shirt. So once we add that in, that shirt is much smoother. Great. Okay, and this is so subtle, but there's just a little bit of second elbow peeking in here. So I just added a layer that hides that and it helps blend that right there. Okay, and that's mostly it. Now we just need to focus on the hands and the mug. So if we play it here, we're not really fooling anyone that this mug is appearing. It looks pretty good, but it does have a kind of pop, especially if we frame through it. Yeah, so it just kind of pops all of a sudden and things aren't really tracking. So the hand kind of shifts over on that pop. So I'm just adding a thumb here that helps it get from there over to there. And then I'm adding uh, just a little bit of mug as I'm revealing. So this frame here, I'm shortening the fingers so that they get from one place to another more smooth. Okay, and this is a good example. These fingers back here just kind of pop on. So it goes from watch and back of hand to fingers. So let's watch that in real time. When you're staring at it, you see it. See those fingers pop? So what I'm doing is I'm going in and I am simply adding the back of that hand in until the hand wipes across and then shows the fingers. So I'm using this hand wiping as a way to introduce those fingers. And when we play it, you don't see a thing. 
And with those dozen layers, we go from, uh, let's look at it, a pretty hideous <laughs> jump cut where it's pretty obvious. Everything kind of pops to um, this smooth cut where you don't even notice that there's an edit. Okay, so that's deep diving on two of the uh, nine edits. So hopefully that sends you on your way to look at these in the project file and understand what I'm doing. I'm basically taking a jump cut saying, what's offending me here? Get rid of it. What's offending me now? Get rid of it. What's offending me now? Get rid of it until I'm in the pixels. Um, and you generally just cannot notice a cut at all. And next up, let's take a look at how I'm very specifically uh, generating and using those frame interpolation blends, especially for the face.